Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Tonight we are going to be making a very easy recipe because I like easy, most of my recipes are easy. But this only has four ingredients if you include the pecans. We are going to be making caramel pecans and they are going to be butter roasted caramel pecans. So come along with me and let's get started. So we already have a recipe up on our channel for butter roasted pecans. Pecans happen to be my favorite nut and they're usually the thing that I break my fast with most days. Um, so I like having a supply of butter roasted pecans, but sometimes it's nice to have something that's a little sweet and savory. So um, I decided that I was going to attempt to make caramel butter roasted pecans. So these are caramel pecans, but um, I am going to be butter roasting them ahead of time. So if you prefer your pecans just in the raw form, you could absolutely make caramel pecans with just raw pecan halves. So come along with me and I'll show you how easy this is. So the pre-process for making these caramel pecans is I'm going to start out with a roasted pecan because roasted pecans are my favorite thing of life and I don't want to start out with a raw pecan. If you want to start out with a raw pecan, you absolutely could do that if that's the texture that you prefer. But I want mine to be really crunchy and a little on the salty side, so I have a salty sweet combination, almost like caramel corn. So I'm starting with fancy pecan halves, and you can buy pecan halves just about anywhere now. So I want just about three cups of pecans, which is not quite half the bag. And then I have two tablespoons of melted butter here. And I'm just going to drizzle that on. And then I'm gonna stir them up. So just it doesn't have to be super precise because like I said, I'm gonna stir them up. So I'm just gonna take my spatula and just try and coat these as well as you can with your spatula. And we're gonna be stirring these halfway through the roasting process. So if a particular pecan missed buttering, it will get buttered the second half. So it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to spread them out as evenly as I can. Now I like to set my oven about 300 to 305 degrees. Keep in mind, my oven is brand new. Everyone's oven is different. Oven temperatures vary. A lot of people will have a thermostat in the bottom of their oven if they're into baking a lot because everything is variable with ovens. So mine, this works well, but you have to experiment with your own oven to find the correct temperature. Start out low and slow if you're concerned about your pecans scorching. But I roast my pecans at least probably every 10 days or so because they're my go-to nut. So, 305 degrees. I have my oven rack on the second to the highest. In they go and I am going to roast them on this side for 15 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. And when our 15 minutes is up, I am going to stir them and roast them for another 15 minutes. And then we will have butter roast pecans and we can continue to make our caramel pecans. Okay, hey, time to stir. And then we're just redistributing them across the cookie sheet to give them another 15 minutes. Okay, back in they go. Our pecans 
are beautifully roasted. Now I'm going to set them aside. We are done with the oven. The carameling of our pecans will not take place in the oven. I am going to salt my pecans. You don't have to salt them if you don't want, but I definitely want a little bit of salt. And I'm just going to set these aside while we do our caramel. You're going to need another baking tray. I have two. You could use the same one and just let your nuts cool somewhere else. Uh, and you also need a piece of parchment paper cut to fit your pan. I'm going to be doing this in a Dutch oven. You could use a large saucepan, just you need something that is large enough to fit what you're going to be putting in to make the caramel and also the pecans. So I'm using my Dutch oven. And I'm going to melt a half a cup or one stick of butter. We are also going to need a brown sugar alternative. So I really like Sucrine Gold. Swerve makes a brown sugar natural sweetener. You need something that has the brown sugar in it. Um, it has that caramely flavor that you want like a regular brown sugar would have. So I really like the Sucre and Gold. Uh, we buy ours on Amazon and it is linked in our favorites. And it is a one-to-one -one replacement for brown sugar and we are going to need one cup of this. You also need some vanilla extract and those are our only ingredients. We are just going to wait for our butter to melt and then we will continue our caramel. I don't know if you can see or not, but the sucrine gold looks exactly like brown sugar. It packs down like a brown sugar product, smells like brown sugar. It's very difficult to tell that it's not actual molasses and white cane sugar. Okay, now that our butter is almost fully melted, we are going to add our one cup of Sucre and Gold, our brown sugar alternative. We're just gonna let those combine. And we are gonna cook this on a low setting for about seven to eight minutes. And the reason we're doing this is we're just going to kind of let it thicken up. At this point, we are also going to add our vanilla extract, and I'm going to add two teaspoons. And the reason that we are heating this up for seven to eight minutes is to incorporate our brown sugar substitute and make sure that the granular part of it has broken down and is smooth. And once again, it's important with this process not to get too impatient because you don't want your butter and sugar alternative to scorch. I don't know if you can see on my spatula that it's starting to caramelize, which is what we're looking for. It's getting lighter in color. Because that beautiful goldenness is going to coat our pecans and make them candied. I think it's ready. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to remove our caramel from the burner. And I'm gonna put it on the cool burner. I'm gonna give it another stir. Now I'm gonna bring my pecans 
that I didn't own in the caramel bath. And I'm going to take my spatula and stir it until they get really well coated. Making sure that all of the pecans get coated. Okay, now we're going to dump them out onto our parchment paper that we've already prepared. Make sure we get as much of the caramel out as we can without hurting ourselves. And then we're just gonna kind of spread it out. And we are going to chill these in the refrigerator for about an hour. And then we will break them apart. And when they're all cool, We'll get to taste them. Caramel pecans. Are you excited? I'm excited. Good. This is your excited face. Yeah. <laughs> Which looks like your regular face. <laughs> Don't push it. <laughs> Don't push it. This is my excited face. You're like grumpy cow. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> All right. Caramel All right. pecans. Here we go. Really good. Sweet. Tasty. Yeah, I like them. I think these could be dangerous for people though, because they are sweet and you put salt on them. Sweet and salty. Kind of sweet and salty. And um, in fact, you probably could have put some more salt. Mm -hmm. But um, I think they're, they're really good, but I think people got are going to have to watch out. Just like the spiced nuts yeah, they, they and the peanut brittle. They don't eat too many of them. Yeah. But it's good. Good job, baby. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the caramel pecans. I know that we are definitely going to be enjoying them. And we hope that you are having a very nice summer. We definitely are. We would like you to please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. We upload new content twice a week. We have recipes on Sundays and we upload keto conversations and other keto related content on Wednesdays. Sometimes we have ketogenic food unboxings or ways that we eat on this lifestyle. So please hit the notification bell so that you know when we upload those new videos. We are also on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and a lot of times we release teaser recipes and also our latest recipes just to give you a reminder of whatever is new. So please consider joining us there as well, and that is CJ's Keto Kitchen. And also our blog, cjsketokitchen.com, has all of the nutritional information, macros, recipes, recipe ideas, and sometimes stories and other things. So please head on over there and check us out. We hope that you'll come back next time and see us again on CJ's Keto Kitchen. And until then, 